guys and welcome to my channel my name is Abimbola so if this is your first time on my channel or you've been here before but have never subscribed can I please ask you to just click on the red subscribe button now and then click on the bell icon to turn your notification on so you are notified whenever I drop a new video if you've already subscribed it's good to see you again thank you respect the say is reciprocal you give to others whatever you want to receive from them we all know that there is no love lost between Kemi Omololololoyo and Davido's family so the controversial journalist who is also known for her usual way of dragging people online has gone for Davido and his fiance Chioma Roland. So last Thursday was Chioma's birthday and the self-acclaimed investigative journalist and PR specialist according to how she addresses herself acknowledged Chioma's birthday and tweeted Happy birthday Chioma, audio cooking shows Nko. You announced two years ago today 2018, Porsche Nko. Have you got your driver's license? Actually guys, I laughed when I saw this post and I thought this woman again. As usual, this chemist post did not go down with many of her followers who were also followers of Davido and Chioma as they all took her up and condemned her tweet. So let's see two of the tweets. Bad Bele, throw away, throw away. Wuru wuru, throw away, throw away. Stop hating on someone so that your days may be long. Yawo Malians. Hmm. I don't know what that means to your Malians. And then another one said, This woman is a true definition of bitterness, witchcraft, and everything evil. So Kemi's tweet came from what happened in 2018 when Davido gifted Chioma a Porsche car, which was tagged assurance on her 23rd birthday. This caused a lot of reactions online as there were speculations that it was a second-hand car and not new. In January 2018, Davido made it known to the world that he was in a relationship with Chioma and he took Chioma to a private family event in Ede, Ocean State. So after this trip to Ocean State, Davido and Chioma became an item and he showed her off on social media as their relationship became an admiration to his fans. So Chioma and Davido had an introduction ceremony with Chioma's family sometime last year 2019 and Davido promised then to marry Chioma in 2020. So we are waiting to hear more about this. Although COVID-19 is making things a bit difficult at the moment because of the lockdowns all around the world. So this may actually not be possible, but we wait to hear more. So Davido on Chioma's birthday has penned a heartwarming message to celebrate Chioma who is also the mother of his son. Davido posted a beautiful photo of Chioma and he wrote, Happy birthday to the strongest woman I know, at the chef Chi. Oh man, if we wasn't on lockdown, you already know we for turned the city upside down. My dear wife, may your birthday be as happy as you have made me. I really don't know what the problem is between Kemi Ululoyo and Davido. I don't know what problem Kemi has with Davido, but it appears deep rooted. But I don't think that she should have extended whatever problem she has with Davido to his girlfriend. I mean, Kemi is a lot older than Davido and Chioma is just too young for Kemi to stoop so low to insulting her. I won't actually be surprised if some of Kemi's children are older than Chioma. This woman really needs to calm down. She needs to let these people be because at every given opportunity, she goes for them. She throws shade at them. She says things that you find unbelievable that you wouldn't really expect a woman of her age to say to people that are younger, that so much younger than her. I'm not really sure what the problem is. I know she's spoken in the past about Davido's mother, so she knows the family very well. But whatever the underlying problem is, she shouldn't be taking it out on the children. She just needs to calm down and let them be. Anyway guys, that's it about Kemi Oluloye and their daily case. So the next story guys is about Tonto Dike. The Nollywood actress has revealed that her boyfriend is a Muslim. Tonto posted a message on her Instagram and a follower questioned her if she was a Muslim or a Christian. Tonto had shared a photo of herself in an Islamic attire and wished Muslims happy Ramadan on behalf of her foundation, Tonto Dike Foundation. So Tonto wrote, Ramadan Mubarak to all our Muslim brothers and sisters. May Allah accept our prayers, bless us and heal the world. We are with you in spirit and in truth. Allah bless you. And then a follower asked her, are you a Christian or a Muslim? And she replied, I'm a Christian. I live in a Muslim community. I have a Muslim boyfriend. We good? So I actually thought Tonto was an evangelist ordained by some pastor in South Africa some years ago. So how is it going to work a Christian evangelist and a Muslim? I'm just asking. 
and rumors have it that Tonto's new boyfriend is a billionaire and the son of an ambassador. She's yet to reveal his identity, but time will tell. I personally wish Tonto DK good luck in this her new relationship. At least this new boyfriend allegedly is a rich man, and the story may be different from her experience with Churchill. Since Tonto claimed that she was the one that paid for her wedding to Churchill, Anyway, like I said, good luck to King Tonto. Since this lockdown began, Tonto has done a lot of charity work given to the needy in the society. She posted on her Instagram page that 14 years as a humanitarian, 14 years of running one of the biggest internationally recognized self-funded NGO in Africa. I would say that COVID-19 isn't the start of an amazing journey for us, the Tonto DK Foundation. I am undoubtedly my number one. Hashtag COVID 19 hero. I'm very sure also millions of Africans. Why should we win? We are self sponsored. Out of 23 million naira spent on COVID 19 initiative by my foundation, only 3.7 million was donated and the rest of the funds came from the foundation. We have so far sent worthy relief packages to 10,000 families, 2,000 children across Nigeria, and 2,000 Ghanaians. We are out again on Thursday, 30th April 2020, to distribute more relief packages to another 5,000 frontliners, doctors and nurses, security personnel, and sick children across Nigeria. We also set out to disinfect the major roads of three states in Nigeria. We are proud of our achievements so far. The process is still ongoing. We give glory to God who made it all possible for me and my team. We leave it all to God for constantly providing for us to give. If I want the funds from you to support the Tonto Diki Foundation, I'll be sharing this money with two other great foundations, A.G. Williams Uchimba at Help Line Foundation, who I know would put the funds into good use and have also done well. Without bragging, please feel free to indulge yourself in more of my works via at Tonto underscore D underscore Foundation and www.tontodikifoundation.org Hashtag the Tonto Dickey Foundation Hashtag COVID-19 Hero At T underscore D underscore Foundation Hashtag my COVID-19 Hero So well done to Tonto This is an excellent job If only more people that have the capacity in Nigeria to do this will follow suit Although I know some people are doing it secretly So God bless every hand that is feeding the needy Especially in these trying times but more people need to come out and do the same. People that have the capacity to do it, they need to come out and do it. This will actually reduce what is going on in Nigeria. People are hungry. This will actually reduce robbery and things like that in Nigeria. If more people will give, feed the needy. When people are not hungry, they don't really have any reason to steal. So guys, that's it from me today. That's it about Kemi Omolululululoyo and the battle with the Odilikis and Tontodikis new billionaire muslim boyfriend and her charity work in nigeria and ghana at the moment let's have a conversation in the comment section please don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel and i shall see you soon thank you so much for watching goodbye for now